going on everyone so today i'm actually picking this up i was going to say that i'm dropping it off but that's a lie truck's done uh we're at carly they've had it for past week or so and we went from the pin top kit which was a great kit don't get me wrong um but i wanted something just a little more aggressive kind of go with the aggressive frankenstein aspect of the truck so we upgraded to the dominator kit and what that is is i retained 90% of everything that was on the pin top kit, so radius arms, uh, drop brackets, uh, coils, uh, and uh, just a bunch of stuff. Um, and really all we did was pull off a two and a half uh, King shocks that's specifically valved for Carly for the weight of these vehicles um, and changed over to a 3.0. Uh, so with that, travel doesn't really change. However, we're gonna be keeping the shocks a lot cooler uh, when they're being used. Uh, the flow of the oil is a lot better. Uh, it's just, they're just beefy, man. Um, so, yeah. Uh, got my buddy Branson behind the camera. Branson with a Y, don't mess that up. Um, and basically, he's gonna be doing a whole highlight reel of the install process. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm driving this thing to Arizona. What we are doing right ne next though is we're gonna go pick up some 40 inch tires from Toyo. So, uh, a lot more things to come. I uh, can't thank Dan and Carly and the whole crew for getting the truck in. Brands for being behind the camera. I guess I'll check in with you guys next time. What's going on guys? So I am actually here with Dan, the infamous Dan Torino. He's got the sickest last name. Uh, actually, if you say it a little improperly, it's like the movie, The Grand Torino, right? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Say it properly, it's like I, the movie. Exactly. So, it's spelled wrong. Real quick, as Dan's got a jam, he's going to go over what we did, or what he did, what I paid them to do, uh, <laughs> to install on my truck, uh, just to increase its capability a little bit more and make it just that much more badass, I guess is the best way to put it. So. Yeah. Dan? Capable. Capable. There you go. So Dan, what do we, we'll just, I guess, start up front. What is the first thing that we did in getting this truck to where it's sitting right now? So when he brought us the truck, it had a pin top 2.5 system on it. The pin top is a two and a half inch king in the front, two and a half inch king in the rear. We work within the factory mounting provisions. The king two and a half goes in great. There's really not a whole lot of work that you have to do. He stepped up to the next level, the Dominator 3.0. The Dominator is a king 3.0 shock equipped system. The 3.0 shock, that half inch body diameter, takes a ton to fit. Um, you're talking about a truck that's got a radius arm in the front. It actually keeps that axle in a pretty forward position. You don't have to worry about front to back clearance, but the shock body with a fixed upper shock mount, the clearance to the frame is your issue. So we actually hack off the problematic lower shock mount. These things are known for breaking with even a two and a half inch. So on the pin top kits, we recommend everybody finish weld the shock mount is only half welded from RAM. In the rear, same story, but the, the two and a half inch shocks in the back go directly through the factory frame rail, just like the factory shocks do, which is really the limit of what you can fit back there as well. Yep. So we had to outboard the shocks. This actually helps stability. The further you push the shocks out toward the tire, the more stable this platform is going to be. Basically what he's saying is he's moving the shock from where it's usually routed up into the frame rail they're pulling the shock and it's actually sitting on the outside of the frame rail. So now when you're looking at the back end of the truck, you'll actually see the whole shock body and reservoir outside. It's pretty, I mean, it's really badass looking. But yeah. Right, right. And, and it yeah, works we, better. And we had to get kind of creative in our mounting provision to move that shock body out, but we used existing points, the lower mount to bolt on, the upper mount welds directly into the spare tire cross member where it exits. Uh, the frame on the outside and we're able to cycle exactly what we want in the back and get that outboard 3.0 shock in there without any fitment issues. And for those that are going to ask, uh, travel wise, so I mean this is a heavy truck but let me tell you, even with the pin top, even with the backcountry kit, but I'm going to focus on the, the pin top and the dominator kit, these trucks boogie, okay, they move. This is a heavy ass truck and it moves. Uh, one of the big reasons why I went with Carly was because my buddy Dane, who I think was, he was just here the other <laughs> Dane day. Dane Garvick, yeah. Uh, Dane has a F-250 with a pin top kit on it. Yep. And that guy kept up to me and my Raptor and all of us in our Raptors. Yep. Uh, and so I only had the pin top on for a little bit, but I wanted just that little bit of extra uh, go fun, go fast with the truck. And that's why we went with the Dominator. Uh, up front is nine inches of travel, right? right. Rear is 11. 
plenty. It's valve specifically for these trucks. Okay, you can go buy whatever shocks you want, but listen, you can't just go buy a shock that fits on your 1500 and think it's gonna work on your 2500. There's a very big difference in weight. Also, what we did up front was we added the torsion sway bar. Okay. It replaces an immobile factory sway bar that only allows as much deflection as the bushings will deflect. Um, so you hit a manhole cover on the left and you're gonna feel it shake the whole chassis. It replaces that with an actual torsion spring that engages progressively. You have a little bit of a float zone in there. Uh, and then as that one tire leans or that one tire drops, you get active rate engagement resisting it, but you've got your, your new 3.0 King shocks and you're supporting it and keeping everything planted. So where lean in a factory truck gets super sketchy, this just kind of pushes you to, to try to get more and more lean to see how much you can push it, knowing that you're not going to get the rear end slipping out from underneath you. You've got more traction as you dig in. Awesome. So for those who are actually interested in looking into this torsion sway bar system, go over to CJC. They do a really awesome video covering the differences, both in car and kind of going into more of the dynamic aspect of it. Um, and for those who have a large truck and want to have some fun with it, Carly is the place to go. Okay. It's not only top US made products here, but they went through the R&D of valving these shocks appropriately to the weight of these vehicles, so they actually work efficiently. So, Dan, thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate thank it. You. Can't wait to get in this truck, and uh, we'll check in with you guys later, I guess. All right.